Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Yes, I couldn't resist it, and I know you're all going to say it anyway, so I thought I'd stick it on there. You know, I thought I'd better, because you're going to say it. So there it is, over 9,000! 9,000 subscribers! 9,000 subscribers to me, watching me do the things that I do on the internet webs thing. Yeah, groovy, thank you. The music we're listening to is by Mucket, Mr. Buckethead Cover, and he kindly composed this track. So this is my theme. So thanks, dude. Uh, I'm sure some of you will have heard it before because I use it on videos like this when I don't really have anything else to put over it and it's sort of focused around me. So there we go. Except that's a bit of a misnomer because this video is not focused about me because now that I have your attention, I thought that I would... Pay homage to certain people on this website. These people I greatly respect for what they do. They're all very unique individuals. They all take great pleasure in making videos, um, as far as I could tell. And they all have their own sort of unique style about things. This is not a shout out video. This is not a go and subscribe to these people video. I don't think it's a massive great uh, gift to give someone to give them all these subs who have blindly gone to their channel and subscribed because I, I, you know, effectively told them to. Uh, that's not really what any of these people I think would appreciate, and that's one of the reasons why I respect them. But yeah, if you, if you feel like uh, you would enjoy any of these people, and I'm sure you've heard of some of them anyway, then um, please feel free to go and, and subscribe to them. But yeah, these people I really respect, and I'm very proud to call them my peers. Um, if you're not on this list, because one of the great things about this hobby that I've started and have become quite embroiled in is the people that I've met through it. And there are several people that um, that maybe should uh, deserve to be on the list, but they aren't. And it's nothing to do with how many subscribers you have or anything like that. But I had to whittle the list down to five, and I'm, I'm sure you're all reasonable people you understand why I've chosen the people that I have to put on this special dedication video where I will talk about why I like these people and why I respect them so much for what they do. So without further ado, let us jump right in there and talk about our first person. Jeff is all round probably my favorite Let's Player to watch. Not only is he incredibly funny, and he has yet not to make me laugh in one of his videos, but um, he creates such suspense in many of his Let's Plays. Many of them have the narrative to go with the funniness, and his LPs are just uh, a joy to watch. They really are. They're everything that an LP should be. He himself is a very, very, very good guy. He's uh, the founder of the Voltron Army, which is a community for Let's Players that I will um, link to in the description below. And if you're a new Let's Player, or if, if you're not, um, join it, uh, because uh, people will be there to help you with any questions or uh, any help that you might need. It's a fantastic community, and you should definitely join it if you're a new Let's Player, because uh, that's what it's there for and it's turned out to be a great success. As indeed has Jeff's channel, it's something that he has struggled with in the past, but uh, I think he's got himself sorted out now. He's accepted the fact that he is awesome, and uh, he's just have to to, uh, to deal with it. He plays a lot of games, a lot of different games, everything from roguelikes to action shoot 'em ups to, as I say, um, strategy games and simulations. He's done, he's done everything, and he does it all very, very well. So Jeff, kudos. You're a great guy, and I respect you a lot, and I'm very proud to be called one of your peers. Thank you. Out of all the people that are going to be featured on this video, Plump Helmet Punk will probably appreciate being on it the least, because he is a very private person. So, uh, in respect of that, I will not talk about him for too long. I will only say that uh, he is an excellent narrator. 
His roguelikes are brilliant. I can watch his roguelike videos and I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But I can watch them because of the way that he explains what's happening and he's so descriptive and it's like he doesn't even see the bits and pieces that are on the on the screen because roguelikes are not my forte at all. But he sees something else. Uh, it's like he's playing Fallout or uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, which by the way is also done. But um, yeah, he sees something else and he's very very good at explaining what he's seeing and uh, excellent, excellent narrative stories that he tells in his LPs. So well done you sir, well done. And yes, okay, I'll shut up about you and I'm sorry. Ah, Grimoth, what is there to say about you? Not a lot. No, but really. Not a lot. <laughs> Grimoth is an excellent LP. -er. With Grimoth, you can watch a game, much like Plump Helmet Punk, where you can have no idea what's going on in it. Um, as indeed is the case with me. He plays a lot of old strategy games, which I have no idea about the interface, and he makes no attempt whatsoever trying to explain what is going on. Um, he just drives right in there, and you can watch his videos just from his voice. His deep, commanding voice, which often goes into fits of nerd rage when things don't go his way, which uh, is not that often. Not often enough, actually. But yes, his passion when he does his recordings and his eloquence and his verbosity certainly make for an interesting watch. And he is certainly a very, very good LP -er that I get a lot of enjoyment out of watching. So thank you for doing what you're doing, Grimoth. Keep up the good work. My name is not Lily, or Todd, is one of the more unique Let's Players out there. He's done something very interesting with his channel, which, to be honest, I wish I thought of because it's a fantastic idea. All of his Let's Plays revolve around this one character called Lily Black, uh, and he takes her through adventures in these different game universes. He puts a hell of a lot of effort into his Let's Plays, like a hell of a lot. He writes pages and pages of notes. Um, really nice guy, responds to channel comments, really tries to help people with problems. Uh, he has always got something interesting to say. He's very, very good to watch. Even though he plays very slowly and very methodically, like, you know, 600 episodes to finish Baldur's Gate 2. Um, still, I never find myself skipping ahead in his videos because he's just got such an interesting character um, to play as and himself as a person as well. He's always got something interesting to say. And I say very keen on supporting new Let's Players, all around great guy, and I wish him all the best with his channel because it's it's a really unique project, and I support it all the way, and I wish him all the best with it, and uh, long may it continue. When you watch a Geeks video, he takes you on a journey. He lets you experience the game how he plays it. I think that when people started watching him, he opened a lot of people's eyes to how a game could or perhaps should be approached. Um, he plays as mages and he doesn't break character. He role plays very well and uh, he's very analytical in how he approaches things. He is not afraid to talk about game mechanics, he's not afraid to compare the games against each other, that being the Elder Scrolls because that's all that's on his channel at the moment. He's a very funny guy as well, uh, he puts little twists on things which, which can be quite amusing. And um, just those, those little touches, he's a, a very personal Let's Player, he really lets his personality flow when he's playing a game, which is which is key to uh, to being a good Let's Player I think, is to just relax and let people like you as well as the games you're playing. And he plays them his own way. and. Uh, as I say, he I think he opened a lot of people's eyes to how a game can be approached. And I think that uh, he's doing a great job and uh, he's, he's, his channel is a great success. Perhaps uh, for him a little bit too successful, but uh, you reap what you sow, Gix, and as you are a great guy and excellent at what you do, that's what you get, I'm afraid. So, to you good sir, I salute you. 
and well done with your channel. Long may it continue and I hope that you eventually finish a let's play. So there we go. Five let's players who I really respect and I just wanted to let them know. Again, it's not a shout out video. I don't want you to run and subscribe to them. By all means, take a look at them, but use your own judgment to uh, see if they're worthy of your subscription. Don't just go there because I told you to. Because I haven't told you to. Um, right, 9,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Again, um, I still reiterate that uh, the number of subscribers I have doesn't matter to me in terms of what I do on my channel or how I approach things. But it's always nice to know that what the, what I put out there, the videos that I put out there are appreciated and enjoyed by people. So thank you all very, very much. And onwards to 10,000, I guess. Doodaloo.